Hey guys, I'm Fabiano Uija with Rampage Jackson, back in my hometown. This is where I, the place that I grew up. I have a pressure to bring my friend here to, so he, he can take a look a little bit at you know, what I left behind. And today it's not about me, it's about him. So we're gonna go a lot of good questions and out and inside the MMA world. Um, it's one thing that, like you know, again we in Brazil and uh, they been uh, everybody been talking about. As I want to talk to you because you want you personally gonna understand why I bring that question up to you. Is that they they don't understand how Victor Belfort is a Christian mm. and he can walk in the ring and still you know put the whole uh, aggressive you know <laughs> against the guy yeah. you know the christian they, they don't understand they, they how don't understand. can separate uh, uh, that two different worlds that he can go uh, get the bible you know and talk about you know jesus yeah, christ and yeah. then you know go to the whole thing and then after that he walk in the ring and almost kill the other person oh uh, it's, it's so easy to understand see what it is i think a lot of these people who um, are asking these type of questions, maybe don't understand the Bible too much. Mm -hmm. Because if you understand the Bible, it's um, that's violence. It's a lot of violence in that Bible. And that's what people confuse things with. Uh, I swear, like, one violent thing that's in the Bible is when David um, slayed Goliath. Mm -hmm. He went and killed the giant. And what you, you gotta really understand, after he killed the giant, he cut his head off. And David was chosen by God himself. And they said David is a man after God's own heart. He's like, so he's like really close to God, basically. But God gave him the power to kill this giant mm -hmm. and Goliath through the power of, 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 of from from our father. He gave David this, this he was a young boy, not even a man yet. Mm -hmm. And everybody was scared of this this giant. And what people don't think in their mind, they think, oh, it was a giant, like a like a thousand feet tall giant. No, no, it was maybe somebody the size of Shaquille O'Neal mm -hmm. yeah, ver versus somebody like you. Yes. So you understand, you got to really break it down. I'd be, I be next to him. Yeah, yeah. You be next. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, right. And that's, that's, the, that's the high yeah. difference. Can, can you imagine, yeah, like yeah. somebody, somebody like, like Shaquille O'Neal mm -hmm. or, or um, that, that the Chinese basketball player. Yes. What's his name? I forgot his name. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a real big giant. The taller, uh, versus, taller guy. Yeah, game. versus somebody like David, probably like your size. You know what I'm saying? And and but God gave him the power to do that, right? And that's violence. But this sport is not violence. It's it's uh, martial arts. Mm -hmm. And I met Vito before. He's a good guy, nice guy. I know he don't hate that guy that he's mm -hmm. fighting. And when you don't hate the guy that you're doing martial arts with, it's not violence. Yeah, so it's a, it's a brief between. Uh, it's a difference between you have a personal problem with yeah, that guy, yeah. and you really wants to hurt him. It really hurts then him. you're just doing what the sport, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah, they have to be done. And, yeah, and what people need to understand about Christian re, uh, religion and stuff like that, a lot of people don't understand. Cause if you know, if you know who I am, I tell you who I am. I am God's street soldier. You know what I'm saying? God give me the power to go fight. And you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you know what? He knows my heart. So a lot of Christian people, they look at the judge. I keep it real. I think a lot of people know your heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But, but that's all God care about is your heart. Mm -hmm. That's all He care about. So if you a fighter, God wants you to fight with all your heart. Yeah. Go and be the best fighter, but be humble. Look, look at Vitor. Is he is he not humble, or is he is he like a John Jones like no, all no, 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 he's humble. Thank yeah. you. So that's how you know he's a he's a he's a he's, you know what I'm saying he's a Christian and he goes in there. He got good values because his heart. He's not he's not all cocky and stuff like that. Me even me, I'm more cocky than him. I don't know, cause I just because I talk no, and, and I like it's to not, joke, it's like, like to a joke. Play, yeah. But some people say I'm cocky when it's no, not. No, no, but I like to joke. I like, like to be. Joke, yeah, right? I like to, yeah. yeah, I like to. Uh, you know, be more entertaining. Cause, mm -hmm. cause if you remember, my head, I thought it was gonna be a pro wrestler. Yes. And that's what pro wrestling yes. is, kind of entertaining, right? Entertainment. See, Vitor, he didn't. He probably don't didn't think about being a pro wrestler. So he's very humble. He's a martial artist and everything. And I can tell that he get a lot of strength from 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 God because look at him. He's old and he come all the way back. He's make a, he's made a full turn and he's coming back to be one of the best fighters in the world again. Watch, mm -hmm. I can see it because he's fighting. Look, he just knocked out Dan Henderson. Yes, yes. yes. So if you that was, a, yeah, that was a very good fight. I know it's gonna be hard for you to translate all this. No, no, no. It's, it's okay because they they're gonna they're gonna oh. put a sub sub tie on that. Oh, it's hard. Yeah. So what I want to say is, all the Christians who are watching the fight and stuff like that, please understand that it's not that you fighting. Not it's all about your heart. With God, I don't care what anybody says, all God care about is your heart. Because you know we all make mistakes in life, we all messed up. You know what I'm saying, Vitor, that's his way of making a living. 
and it's an honest living, and he's not hurting anybody, um, like, 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 w without, like, he's not hurting anybody, like, uh, evilly. It's not evil. He's not. And um, if I ask you the worst moment in your life, not in your career, the worst moment in your life, what would it be? In a shot. The, explanation. The worst, the worst moment in my life is. That's kind of tough because I've had some. <laughs> I've had some. I had some pretty bad times. But I'm gonna say the worst moment in my life was when I went to jail. Man, it's like did something stupid, and that's the worst thing that can happen to you is you do something illegal, something stupid, and you get caught up, and you gotta go and be institutionalized, and they gotta tell you when to take a shower, and tell you when to eat, and tell you when to sleep, and stuff like that, and you don't. You don't feel like a human being anymore. Mm -hmm. That was the worst thing that ever happened to me. So that that helped change my life. And I said, you know what? I got to be more positive. Make sure I uh, don't do anything stupid and stay out of this jail. Cause that's the worst place that I ever want to go back is a, a, a jail. And you go extreme to the other odd end. How about the happiness? Uh, the most happiness thing. I think the most happiness thing is when I saw my son being born. Like my my youngest son, he was. I was there when when he was born. I was the dad with the video you camera. There you go. You didn't pass out. No, I didn't pass out because my ex-wife she wouldn't let me look at. Uh, no, 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 no. My my too. My too. Yeah. She didn't let me look go from that angle yeah. that you wanna see. You wanna yeah. really see that pop pop yeah. out? They don't wanna see that. Nah, see that's that. You can do it, but do it from yes. a different angle. She didn't let me see. It. I yeah. wanted to see it. She said. She said, No, if you see it, then you're not gonna wanna come back here no more. Believe me. <laughs> Exactly the same, same words for my wife. Yeah. Like if you see that, you maybe don't wanna like you. You're gonna uh, lose the, the the sexual attraction that you have. That's why I heard it's true. Yeah. It is true though. So I say, you know what? I don't need it. You know? Like thank you again, and uh, I think you like we have a chance to have a little fun in Florianópolis, Santa Catarina. You should check that out. This place is beautiful. It's very it's, fun here. You know, it's nice. today the weather changed a little bit, but that's tropical. That's the way it is. We got. Three sunny days and yeah. one rainy day, and uh, that's it. Back to California, back to train, yeah. get ready for the next fight. That's right. And you can definitely see him in Bellator. He's now signed in very good relationship with Bellator, and you're not gonna see all the drama. You're gonna see Rampage, hopefully picking people up, armed by people on Bellator. Yeah, yeah. everything. That can be. Yeah, it can happen. It can happen. There you go. Thanks, guys. Hey, Baller TV. This is your friend, Rampage Jackson.